Hi, I'm Robert Carlson. I'm speaking exclusively to the Emirates News about defending the Dubai World Championship. Now to golf, and it's under two months until the season-ending Dubai World Championship returns to the Jumeirah Golf Estates. As the climax to the European Tour's race to Dubai, the event sees the top 60 golfers battling for a share of the total prize pool of $15 million. Earlier today, I chatted to last year's World Championship winner, Robert Carlson, about defending his title and returning to the scene of his biggest career title to date. Dubai World Championship produced a climax. Just to qualify for the event in Dubai is achievement enough. But to then go on and win it, facing opposition such as the previous year's champion Lee Westwood, is quite a feat. But after four days and two playoff holes against Englishman Ian Poulter, Carlson came out on top. I asked how he felt coming back now, about to try and do it all again. I'm trying not to look upon it too much as a defending champion. It's a separate event again, starting from the beginning and... Um, I'm, I'm sort of uh, trying to bring, bring some of those good memories from last year. But apart from that, I don't want to do too much different now. Your last two wins have been in this part of the world, in Qatar and here obviously as well. Is there something about playing in, in this region that suits your game? I think in general, if you look on these courses here, uh, most of them are set up a little bit for resort play. So um, they will be a bit wider from the fairway, uh, from the tee. And, uh, uh, I think in general, the, if you look on the winners in the Middle East, there's generally been long hitters. There have been a lot of from Martin Keimer's one of you, Paul Casey, Ernie Els, Retief, myself, Henrik. So it's been a lot of long hitters and uh, I think that's, that's pretty much, uh, it's helped me a bit. World number one Luke Donald currently commands a healthy lead at the top of the race to Dubai money list. But the earth course itself may give others a chance of catching him in December. To win the, to win the, the, uh, the money title or the race to Dubai title is obviously going to be very, very difficult to catch Luke because he's such a great player and playing so well at the moment. So, um, But I don't think this golf course is probably playing straight into his hands. So yeah. maybe if, if uh, someone gets close, it could be a bit interesting. A few tournaments left to go before, before you're back here. Where are you off to next? I'm playing in Shanghai, the Shanghai Masters next week and the week after that HSBC and then Singapore. So three weeks in a row. And then back here? Back here at the end of, uh, beginning of December. To get his hands on the trophy for a second time against the best in Europe is asking a lot. But along with Lee Westwood, Robert has exclusive knowledge of how to do it. Something that may be very useful when he returns to Dubai on December the 8th.